start working on the site, you'll want to go to the site like you were a visitor. So up here in the address bar, head to the site, then add on slash admin. And if you're already logged in, it'll take you to the dashboard. If you're not, it'll ask for your username and password. Once you get to logged in on the dashboard, if you want to start managing the products that you already have or add a new one, click on products over here and we'll start with add product. So we're going to add something new to the store. Right here is just the name of the product, so whatever the thing is that you're going to be selling. Down here, this is the main description area. You can write in it just like you were writing on a text document. You can highlight and bold or change the color, underline it, all these sorts of things, just like you would in any other document editor. Scroll down a little bit to product data. SKU, you don't have to fill in. It's just to, if you have a lot of things, you want to keep track of what they are. Regular price, how much you want to charge for it. So if it's going to be $9.99, that's all you got to put in there. Sale price. If you're going to have a sale, say, for holiday coming up or something, put in what the sale price is, and if you click the schedule button, it'll let you set what date the sale will be active. So using these settings, instead of the regular price of $9.99, in between today and the 15th, it's only going to be $6.99. Or leave it blank, and it will just stay the regular price. Uh, that's pretty much all that you need to do here. If you scroll down a little bit, there's a section for short description. This one you don't have to fill out, but if you want to put a couple of pieces of information here, it's just another way of designing the page. Over on the right, featured image. This is what's going to appear on the thumbnail on the front page. So whatever you set as a featured image will be what's on the store page here. And you Click Set Featured Image. It takes you to Media Library, where you've already uploaded some pictures. So if you've already put in the picture, you can just click on whatever one you want to use. It'll have a little check mark. If it's one you haven't uploaded yet, click on Upload Files and Select Files. and ask for the files on your computer. Where's the picture that you want to upload it? And you just find it and then click Open down here and then set featured image when you're done. Product gallery, this one's almost the same as featured image, except this one will appear on the individual product page, and you can add more than one picture. So if you go to the media library, click on any one of the pictures, hold the control button on your keyboard, and you'll be able to click multiple pictures. Now they all have little check marks letting you know that they're being added. Click Add to Gallery, and now you see all the thumbnails here. Once you're done, hit Publish, and now you've got a new product sitting on the front of the page. I'm going to not save that one. If you want to check on products that you've already ha got, say you want to change their pictures or their prices, under products, click on product or just click on products by itself and it'll give you a list of all what you have. You can click on the name or on edit for any one of them and it'll take you to that same page that we were just on for add new product except it will all be filled in. So we've got that. So this one doesn't need a sale price because it doesn't have a schedule. But it does have a featured So here's a actually a good page for me to show you the short versus the long one. So this is the item for the best. Up here is the short description. It'll be above the Add to Cart button. And down here is the full description. So full description is the one that's under the title box. And short description, the one at the bottom. This one's got the same info in both places, which isn't a bad thing just more places to read it. 
but sometimes you might want to put something different here than you do here. And once you make your changes, click the update button. Now the only thing I updated was just taking off that sale price because there is no sale so it's not going to show. Uh, if you go to WooCommerce and then Settings, then Checkout. This is where we check to make sure PayPal is on and getting paid. Uh, down here, PayPal is enabled and it's the only one, so people will only be able to use PayPal. If you click Settings, Right here is the email address that PayPal is going to. As long as this is checked and this is your address, that's all it really needs in order to get you money. <laughs> if you want to go to uh, tax, this is where we made the state tax. So it's ca calculate tax based on address. Uh, your other options would be everybody's address or everybody gets taxed instead of just only people in Texas. So right here we've got Texas, and here's the rate. There's only people in Texas will be charged this rate. Everybody else won't be. Um, we also want over appearance and widgets. If you want to make changes to the contact information down here at the bottom or the social media pages, footer column 3, click that, contact card. This is all of your information. Anything you leave blank won't show up. If you click footer column 2, this is for social media. So you want to put in here wherever you want people to go once they're clicking on the link. So facebook.com slash your page or whatever the URL is. Just fill that in. Same with Pinterest. Hit the save button. That's all it takes to update that. Mm, I think that's all we went over for today. But if you have any other questions, please let me know.